Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to go over a crusade update on what the 7th Hydra Alpha Legion Company has been up to. With their fleet well supplied and being in the favor of the Dark Gods, the Alpha Legion attempted to retrieve uh, genetic material left behind by one of their agents at a dead drop. The agent had reportedly recovered a helm belonging to a Thunder Warrior from the time before the Great Crusade and had left the helmet inside a crate and left it at a dead drop for the Alpha Legion to recover and try to then gleam genetic material and the means of creating their own Thunder Warriors from this relic. The Alpha Legion used a raid on a lunar outpost to disguise the fact that they were there to retrieve the item from the dead drop, but unfortunately for them, the Adeptus Custodes were awaiting for them. A vicious battle then erupted over the dead drop, in which the Alpha Legion unfortunately were unable to recover the crate, and it was instead recovered by the Adeptus Custodes. And yet, despite this, the Alpha Legion were able to recover valuable war material from the raid, and the presence of the Custodes revealed a secret intelligence network that had allowed them to pick up on the actions of the Alpha Legion. The infiltration of such an intelligence network could yield very valuable prizes to the Alpha Legion if they were able to do so, and would soon become a top priority for the 7th Hydra Alpha Legion Company. In other operations, the 7th Hydra Alpha Legion Company attempted to establish a secret communication center upon an abandoned mining outpost on an asteroid. There they discovered a League of Votan exploration force uh, intent on mining the asteroid for themselves and looting the facilities. A fierce battle then ensued that saw the Alpha Legion forces drive off the Leagues of Votan. With the defeat of the Leagues of Votan force, the Alpha Legion was then able to establish a secret communication center upon the abandoned mining outpost. They were then able to use that to launch further raids against the Greater Imperium, but in the meantime, they had to consolidate and upgrade their forces. What follows is a list of units that were upgraded and units that have been added to the Crusade roster. Our first upgrade would be, uh, and only upgrade so far, has been Skyvar the Sorcerer, who has managed to level up, and he did so by uh, mastering, using warp powers, mastering them in games versus the, both the Custodes and the Squats. And as such, uh, he has been upgraded with Psychic Might, enabling him to cast three Psychic Powers during the Psychic Phase. Joining the uh, Dark Crusade is Headhunter Kronos, a Master of Executions. Uh, he is bringing his Axe of Dismemberant, and he's been brought in to deal with any pesky characters or obstacles that interfere with the Alpha Legion operations. Now joining the Alpha Legion Crusade is Kargoth the Corrupt, a Master of Possession. Uh, it's an HQ unit with a Staff of Possession, a Sacrificial Dagger, and Bolt Pistol, knowing the powers of Smite, Curster, and Pact of Flesh. It also has the Warlord trait, Lord of Terror. Uh, Kargoth the Corrupt spent time infiltrating a Night Lord's Warband in order to uh, spy on them, and as well as to pick up techniques that he then brought back to the Alpha Legion. Also joining the Alpha Legion force is Warpsmith Verdex, a Chaos Warpsmith of the Alpha Legion. Uh, he carries a Thunder Hammer and Mechadendrites, Plasma Pistol, and is got the Warlord trait on Holy Fortitude making him extremely durable and tough. And with a focus on uh, manipulating the demon and the machine, he is also a member of the Dark Mechanicum. Warpsmith Verdex's uh, very first contribution to the Alpha Legion Warband has been the creation of the Unhallowed, a combination of demon and mechanical in the form of Force Spawn, which kind of form their own unique little category of spawn. Uh, he has created these biomechanical creatures to serve the Legion and to unleash them in battle. Verdix has also refurbished and repaired 
and prepared a Rhino for use by the Legion. Uh, it is equipped with the Havoc Launcher and the Combi Bolter, and it will be, is intended to serve as a tra transport for a close assault uh, squad. That concludes uh, the update for the 7th Hydra Alpha Legion Company. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching.